Hi, so welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our wealth biology examination series, we have here these 10 well equipped questions to answer on the topic ecological population. So, guys, this video will be about factors that affect population. So, in short, to stay till the end of this video. Let's go ahead and start with the first question here. It says, which of the following factors may not cause overcrowding? We have A, reduced birth rates. B, lose immigration condition. C, scarcity of food. And D, limited space. So guys, the answer to this question is option A here, and that's reduced birth rates. So in a community where there is a reduced birth rate, there yeah, obviously will not be overcrowding. So let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. That's question number two here. It says, which of the following factors will most likely lead to overcrowding within a population? A, absence of predators. B, emigration. C, food shortage. And D, absence of territorial behavior. So guys, the answer to this question is option A. Absence of predators will likely lead to overcrowding in a population. And that's it for that question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. That's question number three here. It says, which of the following statements is not correct? A. Overcrowding may lead to scarcity of food. B. Shortage of food may be caused by pestilence, render pest, and neglect of famine. C. Shortage of food may lead to competition, emigration, death, and decline in the rate of reproduction. D. Territorial defense encourages food scarcity in the habitat. So that's the actual answer to this question. Option D. Territorial defense does not encourage food scarcity in a habitat, and as such, it is the statement that is not correct here. So that's it for this question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. That's question number four here. It says, the maximum size of a population that a given area can support is known as A, carrying capacity, B, population density, C, population growth, and D, maximum population. So guys, the answer to this question is option A, and that's carrying capacity. So the maximum population that a given area can carry is known as the carrying capacity of such population. So let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. That's question number five. It says, the density dependent factor that operates to regulate a population size may include the following except A, spread of diseases, B, increased competition, C, shortage of food supply, D, fire outbreak. So guys, now, considering the question, it says density dependent factor here, guys. So the factor here that is not a density dependent factor that will operate to regulate the population size is actually option D here. So option D is not a density dependent factor. Fire outbreak is not a density dependent factor to regulate the population here. But guys, the other options here are actually density dependent factors that can regulate population size. So that's it for this question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. That's question number six here. It says, the numbers of population would rise if there was an increase in the A, number of predators, B, amount of food available, C, spread of disease, D, number of deaths. So guys, the answer to this question is option B, and that's the amount of food available. So if there is actually a rise or increase in the amount of food available, definitely the number of population will certainly rise. And that's it for this question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. That's question number seven here. It says, competition among individual of a population increases the A, Enlargement of the territory. B. Availability of nutrients supplied. C. Survival of the fetus. And D. Number of organisms. 
So guys, the competition among individuals of the population will increase the survival of the fittest. And that's it for that question. So let's consider the next question, guys. That's question number eight here. It says, which of the following factors will be least likely to act as a density-dependent limiting factor in a population of mice? We have A, predation, B, parasitism, C, unfavorable climate, D, build-up of waste products. So guys, the factor here that will least likely to act as a density-dependent limiting factor in a population of mice will be parasitism. So predation will actually be there. Unfavorable climate can also be a factor. And then building up of waste products can also be a factor, guys. But parasitism is not a factor here. And that's option B here. Or is likely going to be the least factor here. So guys, that's it for that question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question. So that's question number nine here. It says, population growth rate may be defined as the A, mortality rate per unit area over a period. B, number of particular species per unit area. C, number of times an organism occurs within a given period. D, net rate of natality and mortality in the habitat over a period so guys population growth rate can be defined as the net rate of natality and mortality in the habitat over a period and that's option d here so let's go ahead and consider the next and the last question guys that's question number 10 here it says which of the following is not an effect of overcrowding on a population we have a aggression b commensalism c competition d death so guys the answer to this question here is option b and that's commensalism so that's it for that question so guys this will end this video for today if you enjoyed this lesson please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber also if you have any specific question regarding this video you can drop your question on the comment section below and we ensure to give you a response so finally guys we want to encourage you to join our youtube channel community where we post major updates on work examination. You can join this community by hitting the join button below and we'll see you right there. So thank you once again for watching this video and see you on the next one.